January 2019. Okay. Now this puppy, how many years old is it? Five months old. Five. Ah? Five. The five months old has mm. these pimples on the groin area for the last one and a half weeks. Now she, she was given the cream. She was given the cream to apply. The, the cream didn't work. Did the cream work? It worked, but uh, still. Last so are these new ones? No. Okay. Some of them are old. Mm. Some. Now, these pimples are actually bacteria pastils we call it now and this condition is called pyoderma and it's very common in some puppies uh, because the immune system is low because they're young and uh, many cases it's due to contact on something which affects the skin uh, for example urine on the pee pen or something wet did the puppy lick this area mm, she, she will but lick. we will put her, put her on the cone you put her on what cone yeah huh? okay so actually, this 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 uh, condition is actually quite easily resolved by antibiotics, uh, uh, injection, preferably an oral. Did, did, there was no oral antibiotics, right? No. Okay. So, other than that, this puppy come in for the third vaccination, right? Yes. Okay, so today I'm going to check first. Everything is excellent, right? Yeah. Drinking a lot or so the same? Drinking more. Urine, urine, right? Yeah, you know. Stools? Stools fine. Normal? Normal. Have a quick check. My heart is alright. Normal. The lungs. Any coughing? No. No coughing. Normal. Okay, so heart, heart and lungs are normal. The color should be normal. Let's check whether it's anemic. No, not anemic. The temperature? Taken 39. Away. 39 yeah. is normal. Now check the gums, very clean, very pink. Huh? Mm -hmm. They're not dehydrated, you can see. The capillary refill time is less than one second. That means the, co the color comes back again. Less than one second, that's normal. Quick look at the tongue, very normal. And overall, this puppy is normal for vaccination, except for this. Uh, uh, it's pimples actually. Her pimple is very uh, clear. I will give her some antibiotics afterwards. Okay. And uh, we should we should uh, recover in one week's time. Okay. And uh, I give her a wash also. Uh, a wash. Other than that, uh, she will wear Elizabeth collar to prevent uh, the puppy from leaking. And I I I, I will expect to hear from her in one. One week's time then the puppy has recovered so in the meantime I'm giving the third vaccination which is called Ampina. I'll just hold that in. Third vaccination. Okay, third puppy. Huh? Hey, mm, this puppy is okay. This is a standard vaccine. It's temper hepatitis. Parvo virus. Lactospirosis are the, the main ones. Coronavirus is inside. Okay, first one. Just talk to the first one. Huh? Normally I give two. The second one is the flu vaccine prevent uh, cough. It's a new dog. Okay, talk to her again. Come. Just talk. Huh? Just uh, look at you. Look at her. Just talk to her. So, only under the skin. And uh, this completes her vaccination. Singapore, there are usually three vaccinations. And uh, after that, then once a year. But most of the owners don't come back after a few years. Uh, for some reasons. Uh, either they're too busy or, or the dog is, is already too old. Okay, so... The warming done, really? Yeah, the warming done. Tablet, the warming yes. tablet. So the best is to rock the skin so that uh, there won't be any lumps, just in case. Uh. Microchip done, right? Yeah, microchip done. Done by the seller? Yeah. So let's have a quick check on the microchip. See here. Singapore, all the dogs must be microchip because the government wanted the licensing. You think it was affected? She didn't be here. Hmm? Oh, there it is, huh? 
so it was hidden by this uh, strap. So the government wanted my flight keeping so they to identify who is the owner and, and the dog licensing is cheaper if the dog is neutered. So uh, this this one is a uh, female, right? Yeah, female. So the government allows uh, the owner a, a lower rate of license fees if the dog is neutered after a certain month. Uh, now how much is the fee? Mm, 1.6 No licensing fee? No oh, license, the license one, I'm not sure uh, So normally they, they just trace the owner through the microchip uh, submission by the vet clinic or the seller I think the seller, the uh, microchip right? Yeah So all the pet shop sellers and all the puppy sellers they have to microchip and submit the information to the government so so there's really uh, how they track any uh, dogs which are lost or or not uh, or, or not uh, I mean kept by the owner. So now I'm going to give antibiotics and then I, I will expect uh, the dog to recover in one week. Now it's lying on the it's lying on the pee pen, right? Mm. So if the owner washes the pee pen every day, there should be no problem. Now the owner is training the dog to actually pee on the pee pen. Now, to train the dog, dog the puppy to pee on the pee pen, the owner should not let the puppy come out. Did the puppy come out the mm. whole day? Uh, yes. Uh, so that, okay. that is the fault, is it? If the owner, in the first month, when she bought the puppy, don't allow the puppy to come out. So the puppy will just get used to peeing on the pee pen. And of course, one side, she will sleep there. there there's no need to find the two, right? Mm. One side will be the bed, the bed no? Then after about a month or maybe maybe less, then she just increases the, the space uh, of the of the pen. So open the, the door, then uh, the puppy comes up to play and to eat, and then go back to pee. So slowly you increase the area. So when you can remember, you increase the area, now it's not too late, no? Then uh, the puppy knows that the pee pen is the place to go to the toilet. Now what you do, the puppy comes out and runs. Yeah, she'll play in the in the area. Oh, yeah, the whole day. Yeah. Uh, so when they score the puppy, so the puppy quickly runs in. And how long is the puppy, uh, puppy now? Mm, five months. Uh, huh? Now she's five months. She started in the area about three weeks now, almost oh, a month. You just have puppy one month, right? No, uh, how long have I had her? Uh, I think about three months now. Oh, three months. So three months, it is a bit difficult already. But if she can. Uh, start confining the puppy first and I mean she can come out and play. Now the thing is for toilet training, if the puppy comes out and play, let's say to the living room, the owner must be very clever or very alert. When the puppy turns around or wants to pee, uh, catch her and put into the pee, pee, uh, pee pen there. And in that way the puppy, just tell the puppy pee here. Uh, the puppy will smell the urine and pee there normally. Because uh, poodles are quite smart. So that's how they train. Uh. But the best is the first month confinement for four weeks or three weeks and slowly increase the area for the puppy to go out. And of course you will bring the puppy out, let her play for 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 a short while and then you see if she wants to pee, just go put her back in and say pee here. Okay, can okay, finish here.